Hello everyone, it's Kay here with a little share for you. Um, I have been inspired, as I usually am, by someone, um, this time by Scrimping Mommy, who is Amanda Charlesworth over on uh, Facebook, YouTube, she's got a blog, she's a stamping up a representative, she does albums, you name it, she does it. And she actually shared a video a few days ago now of some tags that she'd made and always on the lookout for little things to um, put into racks and send to people. I was quite taken with the notion of little packs of tags. I've made tags before, it's nothing new, but sometimes the way something is presented just gets your mind ticking over, doesn't it? So I went on and on and on and I'm here to share the tags that I made. So this is the first set that I did and it's using um, a Sizzix tag die and I've just backed it on some ordinary craft card, used the ribbons and it's a double layer which is what Amanda showed. Um, and, and then I've just used some stamping up stamps. Hello friend. I don't know which ones I've used because I'm not, you know, affiliated with sales or anything like that. But if you go over and see Amanda's um, tutorial that she did, then you'll see similar items that she's used. But in effect, any set of stamps that you have will do. I think the main thing is just getting your tag to the shape that you want and then coordinating everything else. So that was the first one. I just put a little topper on the bag. As you can see that's been cut out with upside down hearts but I don't mind that idea at all. And then they sit in and I'll show you the set all packaged. And it really is very, very effective when it's put together. Excuse the glare, but it is part and parcel of sharing how just three simple tags can look very, very appealing and fill up a little space in a rack or in a gift for someone. So that was the first set. And I kind of got hooked up on these colours to start off with. The second set are smaller dies and these are just single purpose. They've just got the little thank you stamp on the top, a very very light um, stamp here. I think I used um, the distressed ink burlap, just went all around the edges and there are three little little tags here with nothing on the back at all. I've used the jute string just to put them all together and then they're held in place with just a little bit of double-sided foam tape to lift them off the card. I've punched out some decoration on the card, rounded the corners, put a little bit of um, decorative card on the top so that when they're actually put into the packaging this is how they look which is rather rather lovely. I think anyway, you know, you must let me know if you disagree and you're very welcome to. This is what life is all about. But I do like to share these things in the hope that people will be inspired by what they see and decide that they'd like to maybe decide that they'd like to give it a go. And then I went on to make something brighter. And again, it was a stamping up set that I purchased on the back of one of Amanda's videos but I was just so pleased with how it came out. Now this again is topped on a piece of card so the actual tag is the blue edge then the pink and then the cream and I just used the oxide inks to stamp out the little cake and the frosting and then utilise some stickles, excuse my dog, um, just to fill in some little sprinkles that I'd stamped atop the whippy bit of the cake. And then the sentiment is sweet wishes, but I thought they were really, really lovely. I've utilised this pink ribbon to form a bow on the top, so it could indeed be um, a, a card topper 
but it can also be transformed if you undo the bow which isn't glued or anything and tie a knot it instantly becomes a gift tag you know, on, that, that would suit a larger bag, clearly. You wouldn't want to put it on a small bag, but a larger gift bag, and it would, so it's dual purposed. And um, I, I just thought it was really, really lovely. Clearly, you can use whatever colours you like, but I used, um, I can't remember the colours of the ink. I think that's Vintage Photo. And then I used a darker one for what would be the sponge cake. And this was actually a grey, all in the oxides on the top part. And I just thought it looked really, really great. Married up the little tag, the, the little sentiment tag here. And laid it down on the layers of card. And when you actually see them all packaged up... They are really quite, quite lovely and I'm so pleased that I felt inspired enough to have a go at these. I'll put them sideways on so that you can see it reduces the glare a little bit and with just a little bit of card, decorative card on the top to seal the bag, I think they really are quite, quite lovely. I've got a little bit of red tape back in there. But, you know, I think it's just, just such a lovely thing to be able to send out. So that was that little set, and I made three of those. So I really have had a lovely tagging time, no pun intended, but it's there anyway. And then I saw a lady using a Marianne dye. I can't remember her name, so I do apologise. And it was um, the Silver Cake Tear. And then you cut out the little muffins to go with it. And for the frostings between, I don't mean muffins, I mean macaroons. For the frosting between, I just used some more of the glitter. The, um, I think it's the ice diamond. Sorry, I've put it all away, so I can't confirm that for you. But it is one of the clear, clear um, stickles glue, glitter glues that actually picks up the colour that you've used underneath it and it really is so so lovely um, I've double cut the cake stand behind it is more of the cream because it's quite a substantial card and then just backed the back that behind the silver dish tray so it in effect it looks quite a sturdy cake stand and the same sentiment on the top there which worked really really well on this one so by this time I was utilizing scraps and and just mixing things around to get the most out of the cardstock that I'd used and this is how they look packaged there's only one tag in each pack but I think nonetheless it makes a lovely lovely little presentation gift for a like-minded person who oh, I've lost a macaroon in that one. I'll have to fiddle about with that one and get it dropped down here um, and put it back on the plate. It's an escapee. So I hope you've enjoyed my little celebration of gift tags and that kind of thing. I will leave a link to Scrimping Mummy's uh, channel underneath. Um, if you don't know Amanda, and I'm sure most people do, then do go along and say hello and get a sample of, of what Amanda does. It's not only stamping up, she's a very, very clever lady in her own right. So don't be put off by that um, overview. She does have a great deal to offer, from albums to tags to kits and that kind of thing so thank you very much for sharing this time with me as always um, and happy crafting everyone take care for now bye bye